my goal is just always to go to the Olympics. The Olympics is scary, any competition is scary, and if you're not nervous, then there's something wrong. And I think it'll be more exciting fear than scary fear. Everything is coming so fast, I can't even imagine the Olympics. Like, my dream has come true, and it's just, it's so overwhelming. I think it'll all be over before I realize it. Welcome to the 2004 United States Rhythmic Gymnastics and Trampoline Olympic Trials. We're in the event center of San Jose State University. I'm Andrea Joy. Next up, Mary Sanders with what she calls her favorite of the four rhythmic routines. We asked Mary to describe her hoop routine for us. Well, hoop is probably one of my favorite events because it's a dance routine I have, and I enjoy it most. Got a lot of dance and choreography and stuff like that. And really, when I go out there, I try and focus. I have a lot of artistic, like a lot of throws and catches, and it requires a lot of eye-hand coordination. It's probably one of my most difficult, but my favorite. So when I go out there, I really focus on performing the routine as well as focusing, because hoop can fly like anything. <laughs> Alfie, you mentioned her 10th place finish at Worlds last year when the 2003 Pan Am game. She totally dominated, won the all-around and four disciplines, all yeah. four. Yeah, Mary has been totally dominant as well here in the United States, as you mentioned, the three-time national champion. She's also a two-time Canadian champion. Very, very difficult pass right there. She mentioned earlier taking her eyes off the hoop, taking a mount of huge risk when she tosses the hoop in the air, catching low to the ground. Mary is the type of athlete, Andrea, that you, you absolutely can't take your eyes off of this routine because there's something going on all the time. And of course, that's the challenge that they all face keeping the hoop moving at all times. Is this part of the explanation for her dominance? Absolutely. I mean, Mary just really rises above the rest of the athletes. She has such innovative elements in her routine, and it's the fact that she's always moving. They never want to see you not doing anything with the hoop. I and mentioned that it's pretty fun to watch. Oh, look at her out there. She's just enjoying herself immensely. It's such a fun routine. That's why she loves this one so much. Great piece of music. Excellent, excellent. Mary Sanders pleased with this start to these trials. Mary getting a hug of support from her coach Mimi Masleva. Of course, her longtime coach who she chains with in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Here's one of the elements. You can see Mary catching behind her back. She's taking a huge risk. There's some innovation right there. Bet you didn't do that when you were a little girl with the hula hoop. <laughs> Could barely get it to go around my waist. And you know, the timing has to be so on. Excellent routine. You, you really saw the passion come through. It was great. And the score for Mary Sanders, 26.35. And we will be back with more. From Even though Mary Sanders has this Olympic selection ramped up, as she told us, you can't assume because anything can happen. Her right toe, injured almost a year ago, remains very painful, and there's no time for it to heal. I just stubbed it really hard into the floor, and I thought I broke my toe, but it's just called turf toe. I, my joint capsule broke, and I have no space to my joint and now bone spurs are forming and I mean it's it's just been like that because I haven't had much time off. Don't let the competition make up fool you. This is a tough athlete. Consider that NFL football players sit out weeks with the same injury. But what motivates Mary and gives her strength is the memory of her father Fred. 
Her dad, born in the U.S., died from cancer when Mary was just seven. He was her first coach, and Mary still uses her memories of him as inspiration. Do you get the sense when you're out there, I mean, is he, do you think about him? Is he with you in spirit? I mean, how would you describe the impact that he still has on you? He's definitely there. When I compete, like, I feel him, and I always look for him, but I'm really nervous. I'm like, my dad's out there with me, like, I have nothing to worry about. I always know he's watching over me. Do you feel like you are carrying on his legacy? I mean, is that part of this? Yeah, I think definitely I feel that way because, and I'm glad I switched to compete for USA because I've met so many people who had like so much respect for my dad and who just said he was an amazing gymnast, good form, and just an amazing person as well. So, and I feel really honored to be able to carry on his legacy and carry on his name because he's such an amazing man. He's gone 12 years, but the bond has grown stronger. Her father competed in the States, and Mary wanted to as well. I think me being an American gymnast, following after his footsteps, makes me feel like a really proud American and even more American because my father was a gymnast too, and me pursuing it just makes me feel like I belong here. Anything that your dad used to tell you? Was there any advice or anything that he used to always say to you that... Yeah, well, he, one thing that always sticks with me, I'm his little gymnast, and I always will be, and uh, just to fight for everything. That's, my dad was really aggressive and really a strict coach, but he taught me a lot in working hard and just fight for everything, and hopefully it'll all come uh, together. People often comment on Mary Sanders' unique style, and Elfie, she says that it is because of that connection with her dad. She feels that the love she has for him shows through in her performances. You know, Mary started off as an artistic gymnast, but she just kept growing and growing. She got too tall for the sport, and when she was 11 years old, she switched to rhythmic gymnastics and said, you know, it was better suited for me. I just, I love to dance. hear the crowd reacting to the moves. You know, right off the top, Andrea, look at the control that she has with her movements. All the while keeping her focus on the ball. In this routine, it is primarily dominated by flexibility combinations, right there. Very difficult element right here, catching blindly, which is taking risk. What I find with all of Mary's routines is they're so well choreographed. There isn't a beat of music that goes by that she isn't doing something very interesting. Music is very Middle Eastern sounding and that should play well in Athens. Oh sure, it's a huge influence this year. Look at that smile, it's great. Mary Sanders very solid through two routines. And you know, Andrea, you'd never know that she has that type of injury that she does all week long. She's had to be very cautious with her foot. She's actually held back just a little bit in training, trying to give it a little bit of rest because it's awfully painful for her throughout the routines. Great overhead shot to see just how much is going on in these routines and how she can't take her eye off that ball at any time. Very difficult stuff. You won't see too many NBA players handling a ball that way. And here it is, another score over 26. 26.35. This is really difficult. Well, she was not shaky at Worlds last year. She was a club's finalist. Mm. Yeah, one of her best events. And look at those scores. She's been very, very consistent throughout the day, and I expect the same from this routine. She has some unusual elements in this routine. Aerial cartwheel-type movements that you would see an artistic gymnast perform. Actually, at Worlds last year, she placed fourth in the finals in clubs. So this would be a legitimate medal possibility for her. Absolutely.
And Mary says there is still so much more training ahead. She and her coach Mimi Masleva, who is Bulgarian, plan to travel to Bulgaria later in July to spend some extra time training with the Bulgarian gymnasts so Mary can perfect those routines. They'll go to the Olympics. She wants to attend the opening ceremony, doesn't want to miss out on that, and then head back to Bulgaria to put in some extra training time before the rhythmic gymnastics actually begins. I always think that's such a healthy attitude for a young athlete to take advantage of the opening ceremony, to go to all of those events and really be a part of the games. Very difficult ending right there. No problems whatsoever. And we're going to see another great score for Mary. Mary Sanders turns 19 years old on August 26th, the first day of competition at the Olympics for rhythmic gymnastics. And uh, what a way to celebrate your birthday. Yeah. Right side. Hmm? Right side. <laughs> right side. <laughs> Just. This, uh, the diagonal was uh, too, far. too far, too far, but okay, he was I, watching. I, I, oh, my I head. Know, it's down. You know, it's a nice day to feel the things. She you makes feel, it look so effortless, yes. but you can see a little bit of sweat in the glitter and, <laughs> and some and heavy you, breathing. And you, you could see her coach Mimi there just fine-tuning the routine, things they need to work on in order to try to achieve that top eight finish at the Olympic Games. Most of these routines are choreographed in front of the judges. This was the amazing ending. Lots of things happening there in that routine. And look at that smile. It was fantastic. And consistency is the name of the game here for Mary Sanders. All right, and here's Mary Sanders now. Our congratulations to Jennifer Perilla. And as you can see, her score is very consistent. All three above 26 points. And of course, Andrea, in the ribbon routine, there are a lot of pivot turns that are required. And for Mary, it's the most painful thing because it's on her injured foot. night for Mary Sanders. Great finish. You know, I know she said this is the most difficult routine for her, but she made it look pretty darn easy. Oh. And she is going to Athens. Thank you. Yes, very windy. No. No. You are nervous. Did you feel? <laughs> mm. I was nervous in my first throw. Yeah. Okay. So my hands are sticky. I just. You know, you after the world championships you. last year, Mary said it really opened up her eyes that she could compete with the best in the world. Recently this year, she was ninth at the Olympic test event in Athens, Greece. So she already knows what it's like to compete over there. And there it is, another score of.